Mergers and acquisitions really stem out of this change environment. And you see um, really the larger organizations, CVS, Aetna, and the like, responding to this change environment. So they're trying to figure out how do we deliver a more comprehensive service offering that really accomplishes what it is that government and other major payers want us to deliver. Um, so, you know, to me, this is really fundamental uh, for retail pharmacy. Now, retail pharmacy has not been a bright spot economically, really, for anyone operating it. So that's no secret. And so reinventing the pharmacy and kind of reimagining what can be done in that context to engage patients is, is really important. And uh, I think that, that we are likely to see a lot of M&A activity that is really focused around that. So the idea of a combination of a health plan and a drugstore, for example, kind of speaks to that. Then, then we have some mergers and acquisitions that are more about creating scale. You know, just get larger. And if you get larger, you can reduce your cost basis and be a more effective player in the marketplace. Um, so we will continue to see that both in the pharmacy area as well as in the health plan area as well as in the provider uh, area. So a lot of activity. We expect it really to continue. In fact, it might even intensify over time as the uh, demands of the payers become a bit more uh, strenuous.